through the goal first, that must have been a satisfying finish. Uh, yeah, it was. Um, it's one of them you've got to concentrate on and really watch it sort of onto your foot because um, if you do miss from there, it, it looks really bad. So, um, no, I was happy to get a good contact on it and, and uh, delighted to see the net bolt. Heavily involved in the build-up as well and then you must have been just waiting to see what Amari was going to do. Yeah, well, you know, Amari's, you, you know, nine times out of ten going to beat his man, so you've sort of got to anticipate sort of try and just get a little bit of guesswork where, where the ball will land you know I, I noticed there was a bit of space at the back where I was already stood from um, you know that the ball had played across uh, it was a great great loft uh, lofted ball from Jack that I managed to find myself on the end of um, you know whizzed it across and Amari does his, his bit of magic and then just sort of gives it me back and yeah just the right place at the right time just just glad I got a good connection with it. Decent haul of goals from the first half of the season Lou you must be pleased with that on a personal level. Um, yeah, pleased. Yeah, um, I think we can always score more goals. Always, um, you know, work the target more. We didn't um, hit the target as much as we usually do today. You know, I think I think today was it was one of them. Maybe the inactivity showed a little bit, um, and then the fact that we're playing Exeter are a good side. You know, it's not a coincidence that they're always um, you know there or thereabouts at the end of the season. So um, it was a tough game. It wasn't pretty at all. Um, you know, I felt all I did was run between two centre half and have a, have a bit of a fight with them um, but you know got my goal and we got the three points and, and after the uh, turbulent sort of three four weeks we've had not knowing when we was going to play another game um, you know it was imperative to um, you know sort of hit the ground running uh, especially here where we've been so good um, so uh, just delighted to do that today. But to dig it out and to dig deep and get the result in that way is it even more satisfying in some ways? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, you can see at the end, we know it's a big three points. We've not played since, um, was it the 2nd of Jan? You know, our, our skipper's not played since um, the 19th of December. So there's, there's going to be a little bit of rusty, that inactivity will get to anyone, um, especially when your first game back is against a side, uh, you know, as good as they are. So, um, you know, we've just got to recover well now. We, we know because of what's happened, we've got games going thick and fast, you know, Saturday, Tuesdays for... Um, the foreseeable, but you know that's that's what we're here to do. You've got to recover right, and you know look to um, you know repeat again Tuesday night. Keep talking about picking up points and results against teams that are good sides. We're not too bad ourselves, are we? Yeah, no, we not at all. We've got you know we've got an identity. I don't think we lived up to our um, you know standards of what we've been like here this season today. But if you'd have you know we've like I've just mentioned with everything that's happened. Um, you know, you'd have, if you'd have said, listen, you're not going to play that great today, it's going to be a scrappy League 2 game, but you'll get three points against a good Exeter side, I'm sure, you know, a lot of people, would, you'd have snatched a hand off for that, so. Eight games in 26 days, is that daunting at all coming up in February? Um, it, it's not daunting, it's just, it is what it is. We, we, you, you, you play Saturday, Tuesdays uh, from time to time and it's, it's going to just be just more frequent just purely because of what's happened with you know that it's not just been one thing that's been stopping the games you know it's snow rain covid um you know it's been turbulent so no but it's, it's what you're a professional footballer so you need to just recover right um you know make sure your body's uh, as ready as it can be for, for the game three and a half four days later how frustrating has this month been lou as you've been on the bus on the off the bus literally in in some ways yeah uh, yeah frustrating felt like I've spent a lot of time sat outside Arrogate's um, stadium that was frustrating um, so but it, it is what it is obviously it's nobody's fault um, nobody could have predicted uh, you know the, the reason games would have been called off this year but no we just gotta sort of get on with it it is frustrating and then you just you know like so Tuesday we, we was I was on a bus to the other side of Birmingham we just turn around and come back it's just one of them things and you know, we come in Wednesday instead, and, and we we play a game, so so we're uh, ready to, for today. So, um, you know, it's 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 paid dividends in the end. So no, it's it's just one of them things. We've heard a lot about this team spirit from a lot of the lads in the last couple of weeks, Lou. In terms of dressing rooms that you've been in, is it a fact? Is there something happening here? Yeah, definitely. And it's when you win games, it just it just breeds that. It just you know, it's just um, just continuously just, and it, and it helps that we've got you know um, a good core group of 20 plus lads who, who were all pulling in the right direction you know um, the gaffer's got us playing a, a certain way and 
you know everyone sort of buys into it and, and um, you know works the uh, works the butts off. So and it's just it's just what we do. So no, it's a great group. I, I love I love being here and um, you know I love being part of a good group of lads. Another home game Tuesday night, Forest Green. Another decent team, but again, there's no doubt about it. We will be up for it. Yeah, but yeah, definitely they're a good side, and um, you know they beat us down there, and I think um, we're a decent side as well. And their reaction when they beat us down there, one 0 at home, on uh, you know it was a scrappy, cold, windy. It, it was some of the worst conditions I played in. But th their reaction, I think, at the end of the game when they win one 0 I think shows that we're a decent side as well. So we've got nothing to fear. We just got to do. You know, got to do everything the, the way we always do it. Um, you know, dust ourselves down, recover right, and, and, and go again for another big game um, Tuesday against somebody else who are at the right end of the table. Well done today. Thanks for your time.